Hello everyone, this is one of my favorite videos to share with you as it is my home decor tour. I use lots of thrifted items, rustic decor, and natural elements to make my home a place I love to entertain and enjoy for Christmas, so come along. Hello everyone, welcome to my home and my Christmas home decor tour. This is my front porch. Our little alcove here that we have that I have decorated for Christmas using thrifted items, dollar store items, and just clearance items that I have found throughout the years. So here in the front porch, this tree was a gift that my mom gave me. I can write on it with chalk if I wish. And then up here on my handmade um, coat rack that my husband made, I have some dollar store garland and some red berries. And on the wall here, this rustic snowman that I found thrifted. And on the floor, I have this little thrifted sleigh. So that is my porch area. And then you enter into our living room. And then over to our music room area and I will share with you where I've gotten some things and then also just let some Christmas music play for you. The Merry Christmas sign is from Holler. Moving over to my couch here, I found these pillow red and white pillow covers from Amazon if I find them I'll link them in the description box in my affiliate link for you and also I believe that one is too so I love the red and white for the Christmas season and I am a very traditional girl for Christmas I like the reds and the golds and some more neutrals here on our nesting tables that we found thrifted actually in a dumpster. I have some antlers and a free printable I printed and then some pine cones and dollar store uh, red and gold little Christmas balls. Then over to our Christmas tree. This is new last year for us. It is almost seven foot tall so it is very large for our small space. I just have some little red, um, they're not really berries, but some red beads around every once in a while. Then collected ornaments my husband and I have been given or that we have found. Some dollar store ornaments from years past like this one and this one. They just bring out my rustic tones in my tree and my color scheme that I have. These, I believe, were from Family Dollar. Um, just some different ones on the tree there to make it more um, popping and pizzazz style there. Then down to our chest where our TV is at. I love this. I have brought in a lot of natural elements, some branches from our pine tree, and the mittens my mother gave me. And then this year at Dollar Tree, they have these plaid little ornaments and I just tuck those into the branches I cut off my pine tree there. Moving on over to our love seat. I've had this pillow and it was a gift. Sorry, ignore the tag. <laughs> a gift for Christmas with warm wishes. And then my built-in this year is a little different. It's kind of simple actually. These trees I used for a $5 Goodwill challenge about two or three years ago. And then these plates I found thrifted. Um, they'll be actually shown in a haul later this week. So I'm not going to show too much detail on them. But I think it's really cute with the plates and thrifted stockings there that I have. Because we don't have a fireplace. So I hung the stockings on that built in. And then just another little antler and some Christmas balls and pine cones in that area on the lamp. So moving on over, I will film the kitchen here in a little bit, but on this um, pony wall is what they call it. I have done this about the same every year. These are um, actually clearance 
candle holders from Lewis Drug. They were like 50 cents a piece. And then I just put some dollar store garland and clipped these dollar store berries. And then this was a thrift store find a couple years ago. All right, then down here, I just have a thrifted snowman, very rustic ranch style snowman. Up on the piano, I went very simple this year and I am loving how it looks. Just again, garland with touches of pine cones and then my Lewis Drug <laughs> candle holder there. Then up above, I changed out the wreath to um, just a greenery wreath with some dollar store burlap that I have and the Christmas. Those are actually metal that um, say Christmas there. My mom got that for me from my local flower shop. Moving on over here, and sorry the lighting is changing on you here, but again, some fresh greenery from my backyard. This is all just very rustic natural elements here. Antlers and then the pine cone. Very simple here with the let it snow of the snowman. And then over here, just a little snowman hanging on that. I went very, very simple over here. Oh, I just put a little thrifted, another candle holder with reindeer with my diffuser. And I have a wonderful scent in there. It's not diffusing right now, but a very Christmassy scent. And then a thrifted sled I painted myself, another thrifted canister with some snowmen on it, and a free Christmas book I found. And a 50 cents pillow from a garage sale this summer. Here is the kitchen as you enter from the living room. Now I went very simple on these corner shelves here. My glass Christmas trees are filled with Christmas balls and pine cones again this year. And I left everything pretty much the same. I just added a thrifted Christmas blessing sign. This I used last year in my $5 Goodwill challenge. I just thought it'd be a nice mail holder and then Christmas card holder. Um, it's very cute, very rustic, and it fits well on the end of our butcher block countertop. I just added some more greenery there. I might put something in that, maybe some Christmas balls. I'm not sure yet. This Noel sign was clearance at Kohl's after Christmas. And then just a simple pine cone on the end of that one there. And in the corner, in my fruit basket, I used this thrifted, um, I wanna say it's a napkin, but I think it's actually a tea towel for my fruit and another glass Christmas tree with more pine cones and Christmas balls. Then as I make my way to the sink, this was a find that I found for Thanksgiving, Chris, or Thanksgiving haul actually. It was 50 cents I believe and I just think it's a really cute gingham green and checkered pattern. Fits well Christmas colors. And then this Joy to the World was a gift and another one of my glass Christmas trees, empty though this time. And another wreath with some burlap from the dollar store. And then over here, I truly have nothing over on the stove except my copper tea kettle, which I am in love with because that was a thrifted find as well. Um, but I do have some garland hanging over my glass doors there, the French doors, with some lights. I believe the garland was just from the dollar store or family dollar or something like that. And then this is the second year we have a mini Christmas tree here in the kitchen. And I kind of themed it white and gold and brown, if you can see that. These were dollar store flowers that I just cut off. Some dollar store little Christmas balls with white. And then I've had these snowflakes for quite some time, but they just add a nice sparkle. And then this was a rice sack I cut in half and flipped it inside out to be the base in my tree skirt. So that is the kitchen and the table is very simple. Um, if you hadn't seen my making a house a home, this table was a $25 find. It is much larger than the one we had previously and we really like it. It works perfectly for Nevaeh's 
clip-on booster seat. But anyways, this will probably change. It's just super practical right now. This was a thrifted basket. My husband's homemade salt and pepper shakers that are Coke, which is red for Christmas, which works. We don't even drink pop in our house, but we have them there. And then just a little wreath with my cloche. And if I wanted to put cookies in there when guests came over or something, I thought that would be a perfect little setup for that. And yeah, that is my kitchen Christmas decor.